This is the most famous of apple trees and it means a great deal to the people who live in Southwell. My name is Julia Davis, I'm at Nottingham Trent University and this is the world's first ever Bramley apple tree. We're located in Southwell in Nottinghamshire and we're in the garden of the Bramley apple cottages. So the original Bramley tree was planted as a pip in 1809. The, the pip grew into an apple tree that was recognised for the huge apples and flavoursome apples that it produced um, some time later, some 46 years later. So once the, the Mary Ann's family had moved on, a butcher named Mr Bramley had bought the cottages um, and the, a local nurseryman who found the apples as he was uh, passing asked Mr Bramley if he could use cuttings from the original tree and sell them because of the value of the, the quality of the apples and um, the butcher said yes you can sell them but you must give them my name so forever after that we've known them as the, the trees as Bramley's seedlings and we recognise the Bramley apples for the flavour, the quality of cooking apple that it is and it's perhaps the world's best known cooking apple to this day. So the tree has had a, um, a turbulent history over its years and um, most recently it has been suffering from a disease called honey fungus which has infected the whole tree. Now it's lived a very long time for an apple tree as it is um, but it's clearly on its way to, um, to finishing its natural life. Um, and in 2018, Nottingham Trent University bought the cottages and the garden that houses the, the Bramley apple, the original Bramley apple tree. So this has meant that um, we're able to uh, allow public to, to view the tree from time to time and we're able to carry out some research on the tree and look after the garden as, um, as we can. So over the short time that we have been owner, in ownership of the, the Bramley apple tree, we've, we've tried to prolong its life. Um, although actually quite a bit of, of looking after the tree really means maybe doing, not doing some of the things that um, you might typically do to an apple tree. So we've left not pruning it because we're, we're worried about destabilizing the, the shape of the tree. So we are just maintaining it a, for as long as it, its natural life will, will manage. So unfortunately the tree will eventually die. It's, as I say, it's outlived its, its natural life by some time. So we're, we're carrying out a few things to, to try and prolong the genetic material to maintain that. So we're taking samples regularly um, and we're hoping to analyse those samples to see if that can tell us more about the, the characteristics of the, the Bramley as a tree and its original genetic makeup. We're also trying techniques to um, stimulate root growth potentially from, from limbs to see if that is another way we can uh, produce plants that are directly genetically the same as the original. So this is the challenge, um, it's not as simple as just taking the pips from the, the apples and planting them, that the genetic makeup will not be the same as the original. So this area in Not Nottinghamshire is noted for the orchards that, that used to abound around here. Um, but this is the most famous of apple trees and it means a great deal to the people who live in Southwell. Um, there are um, parts of the, the, the local pubs and other and names of roads which reflect the value that people hold in the, in the original Bramley tree. Um, and it's very much held as in affection of the local people too. So we are, yeah, very proud to be owners of this tree, this famous tree.